Hey guys, my name's Fazetti. Welcome to my channel. This is another tutorial episode and we're going to have a quick look at making basalt. So this block came in the 1.16 update. It's found naturally in the nether, but you can make basalt, the one behind me, and then you can combine it together to make polished basalt. So let's just have a look at the farm here. It's quite simple. All you need is blue ice and some soul dirt and some uh, trap thingies to put your lava in and it makes the um it makes the basalt there i don't have a pickaxe let's just grab a pickaxe and put myself into survival mode so what you can do is break it here and it breaks off naturally but the problem with this farm is occasionally they go into the lava. Naturally, it hasn't happened this time. You grab that. So you do get some loss. It's not going to happen now, naturally. But anyway, you do get... That one, that one's probably lost. You do get some loss. So there is a way to make it lossless. And that is to put some redstone behind it and to push the basalt out and then you mine it at your own leisure so let's go and have <laughs> let's go and have a look at what that farm looks like so this is the farm that i've come up with it's sort of like in three parts i guess this is the generator here i've switched it off and on the side here i've got a piston that will push the basalt out in this direction so it is detected by this observer which does some redstone trickery and pushes it out so this here is to lock this hopper so it doesn't keep on pulsing in and out it just does one pulse per, per bit of basalt and it pushes it out in that direction so if i switch we'll see it doing its tricks and it pushes them out then what happens next is it's a very similar circuit. It's almost exactly, well, it is exactly the same. When it gets up to this end here and this observer detects it, this kicks in and it pushes it all across. So, and then another one comes along. So you can come along here and start um, mining it away and collecting it. But you've probably noticed there's a whole stack of pistons here on the ground. What then happens is as it comes across here, when it gets to this one here, all those lower pistons push it up and we start the process again. And underneath here, all we've got is a bit of fancy circuitry. We've got the detection down here, a similar circuit to what we had upstairs, except I'm locking the hopper a bit longer because it takes a bit longer for the signal to get down here. And this is just a, a real fancy way of making all the hoppers go. So the power comes all the way through here with these repeaters. Um, it lights these lamps, it turns these ones off, it turns them on and pushes the pistons up. So each row of two does two, two lots. So that's pretty clever. Took me a little while to discover that. And this was a bit of an issue. So let's speed it up and have a look at it in in, um, in all its glory. Okay, so there it is. It's completed the big cube of the salt. In real time, it takes around about 40 minutes to complete this cube. And there's quite a bit of basalt, quite a bit of basalt there. Uh, but I forgot to calculate it. But I can push a button here to remove it. Uh, remove the salt and it will tell us how many blocks it removes. One and a half thousand. Also starts it up again. So one and a half thousand blocks every 40 minutes is pretty good. Um, it is one of those things that you sort of like set running. Then you go off and do other things. And you definitely need a beacon with, you know, the, the mining power to speed along with instant mine so that is basically it for the farm 
what I'm going to do, I'll have a Light Magica download and I'll have a World download. So you can download it and have a look at it yourself if you're interested. And I've also got a Discord now. So if you are trying to build this or any of my other farms that I've looked at and you run into issues, join me on the Discord and there's a little support area there and the community or myself will help you out in determining what's up because you know this sort of stuff gets tricky and you know you got to look at it at all different angles but yeah definitely join the discord there is a link in the description so that should give you all the basalt you need so <laughs> if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button for me it really helps me out if you're new here and haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button for me i'd really like it and i will see you in the next video bye